In this video, we tried 21 specialty drinks from 13 different bars in Key West in only two days. This is our second time here, so we decided to switch things up and experience the island a little differently. Also, we're with my parents, who not only love Key West, but also love to have a good time. Let's do this! Let mommy be the one that drinks before 12! <laughs> As you can imagine, this can be a rather challenging environment to record good content, so bear with us as we take you through all the bars in Key West. We just made it to Key West after coming down from our cousin's wedding in Delray, but we've already been here once, so this time we're just here for two days on a quick little getaway, and we're renting bikes today to go explore this area that we haven't seen so far. We weren't really sure if we were gonna film this trip, but we came up with a good idea to try every unique drink at the local bar. So my favorite place called the Half Shell Raw Bar has an oyster shot that you could try. There's a place at the Green Parrot, and we need some help, so we put a little Instagram poll out to get some other advice on what special drinks there are here in Key West. We decided to rent bikes and go explore the area a little bit. How's it feel? Feels good. I must say, this is a nice seat. Baby, how you insecure with a face like your so girl you got me dying. Okay, so it's 11:38, and my dad wants to get started drinking before 12 o'clock so he could officially drink all day. Maybe an alcoholic, I don't know. We came to the smallest bar because there's a drink on our list that we want to try and it's closed right now. So maybe it's closed because it's before 12. All right. So we can go somewhere else. The first stop on our list is Rick's for their popular Bloody Marys and a Key West iced tea, which is like a Long Island with a hint of Key Lime. Uh, I'm not really dancing into a whole city on dark morning. Uh, I got a 15 minutes in, Key West iced tea. <laughs> Next up is Sloppy Joe's, which is conveniently right across the street from Rick's. And this place is usually packed due to live bands, but we were a bit too early for it. All right, so here's Sloppy Joe's. There are three signature drinks, the Sloppy Rita, the Sloppy Ginger, or the Kevin Way Mojito. We are going with the Sloppy, sloppy Rita, but we're pretty, pretty specific on the way our margaritas should be made, so let's see what happens. We just got out of Sloppy Joe's. We had the signature Sloppy Rita, which is basically like a margarita. We also tried the Sloppy Ginger. That was pretty good. Looks um, like a Moscow Mule. Now we are headed to Irish Kevin's because our bartender at Sloppy Joe's actually recommended the alligator something. So we're going to give it a go. Derek did not steer us in the wrong direction. It is called a green gator, and it is a bunch of stuff. Apparently, a little mixture of everything. So, in New Jersey, we call this a trash can. <laughs> Unfortunately, not all the bars have a well-known specialty drink, so we decided to ask the bartenders for their recommendation on where to go next. All right, the green gator was pretty damn good. Sorry. All right, we're timing. Green gator, we're timing. All right, so, uh, Captain Tony? Yeah. We're having a Key West Adventure Daddy style. I love you people. <laughs> My channel's coming soon. Can I say that? Yeah, it's so good. <laughs> <enough. laughs> so we just got the uh, Pirate's Punch at Captain Tony's. Captain Tony's Salon. Saloon. It's pretty good. <laughs> Is that your happy dance? Happy strut. I love you people from Key West. <laughs> we made our way back to Rick's since we missed out on their tree bar. Apparently it has fresh squeezed juices and they make their bloodies from scratch. The memory, however, is starting to get a little jaded, but it looks like we had some orange juice and grapefruit. Right. So we went to the tree bar right next to Rick's. Best we bar ever. So many cool people. Bob, yeah. PJ, Paul. Great people. So, now we need to get some food in our stomach because it's uh 2.30 and we haven't eaten anything since breakfast, so. When? Good thing we got bikes. We're doing it, baby. We're riding. We made it 
pretty good indent on the list of specialty drinks. I think we drank more than we expected to today. There'll be more tomorrow. The day continues. Today is day two of the bar crawl, trying the specialty drinks around all of Key West. Last night, it got a little sloppy and we didn't film the Sunset Cruise, but today we're hopefully gonna do a better job of filming everything, but no promises, because it is a challenging environment with it being so loud and crowded in the bars and gets a little rowdy, but we'll do our best. So day two starts now. First stop is Marriott's. Yes. Still waiting. I'm ready. I'm ready. What's the drink in Mary Ellen's? Uh, I forget what it's called, but it is like a Irish coffee. So it has coffee, Bailey's, some sort of delicious cream, and their food that they're most known for is a grilled cheese. Came recommended to us from a bartender at Irish Kevin's. They have four signature drinks, one being the Irish coffee, the second one being an old fashioned, the third one Thank you. being a mule, and the fourth one being a jalapeno margarita. So we're trying three of the four today. This is the Irish coffee, cold brew Jameson, ice cream, Oreos, and something else. It's literally a dessert. It is so yummy. All right, what'd you get over there? I have it's a like ice cream. Oh, uh, uh, yeah? <laughs> we're just trying to be he handy. took it or you so, ate So what do we think of the specialty drinks? I think they're quite nice. I think I might like the cinnamon toast crunch one a little better than the Oreo, but I would eat the Oreo as well. If I had a choice, I would go to the cinnamon toast. I really like the old fashioned. Okay. I also like the bar, so <laughs> the tough one is it's a bad bar for mom. Definitely add Mary Ellen's to your list. Their drinks were banging as well as the grilled cheese. It was so good. <laughs> On to the next one. Yeah, Green Parrot. We are headed to the Green Parrot for their specialty, what's it called? Uh, root beer, uh, root beer barrel. barrel to shot. And it is fantastic. So we hear, so. Obviously, we gotta give it a go. So, the specialty drink at the Green Parrot is this shot. It is Bud Light and Root Beer Liqueur, and it's called a Root Beer Barrel. So, here it goes. I do not like root beer. If you like root beer, it is absolutely delicious. If you don't like root beer, like me, it's not that good. It's easy to go down though. But. It's great. And it's kind of like a uh, car bomb. But it's a it fun. Green Parrots partnered with three, uh, two other bars, Half Shell Raw Bar where we're going, and Island Dog. Island Dog, they're also good. And if you do the, each three shots, then you get a koozie. They used to have five bars, and if you did all five shots, you get a t-shirt, but they're slimming it down a little bit. But. That is the so we're going to do that. Um, we all got them signed off and we have two left to go. Back on the bikes. Next stop, Tiki House. Apparently there's some drink called a zombie that we got to try. Oh, that's cool. It's on fire too. Strong for you. <laughs> we are now at my favorite spot in Key West, Half Shell Raw Bar for happy hour from 4:30 to 6:30. It's a dollar oysters, and they got an oyster shooter, which is on the list of the card. So, wow, back room all for ourselves. This one's gonna be tough. What? This one is gonna be tough. No. I, I hate vodka. Ready? All right, we ready? One for the money, two for the show. Richie, get ready. You might want to take your thing out. Take your thing out. Got it. Cheers. Cheers. Oh, done. Make sure 
Okay. I fell down. <coughs> the spicy stuff is in my nostril. What do you think? Would you do it again? I'm crying. <laughs> that was by far the worst drink of Key West. <laughs> 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 I survived the oyster shot. <laughs> Barely. Not by much. <laughs> but I still did it. Never again. What and only. Half shell is fabulous happy hour. Now we're going to Dante's, which is right next to it, which has a comparable happy hour. It's going to be our first time, so we're going to go there. I don't know if they have a drink there, though. Especially a drink. God, I hope they don't have an oyster shot. <laughs> Half shell. Dante's. Rich. I'm ready. Let's do it. Unfortunately, Dante's doesn't have any specialty drinks, but they do have a great view of the water, a pool, and a good happy hour. What do you think about Dante's versus uh, half, very half shell? Good. Dante's is I less like seafood. That. Very good. But both are very good. <laughs> Just don't very very good. Just don't get the Dante wrong Rock. shot. <laughs> Next stop is Schooner's Wharf, where we each had our own drink. This is the Schooner, not Schooner, yeah, Breeze. So it's like a mouth of Bay Breeze, but better. Mom got the Schooner, Schoonerita. Loving it. And I got the Key Lime Colada, which we all thought was the best. Next stop on the list is Island Dogs for the third drink on the Key West Triangle. We got the Koozie, I think. Rose are red, flowers are blue. I'm going happy, how about you? <laughs> Cheers. 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 Let's see how this one goes. Hopefully a lot better than being last. Oh yeah. Congratulations. Well deserved. Wow. Oh, look at this. Why is that? I did the raw bar, half chill shot, twice. My body said it's so good, let's do it again. <laughs> The last stop for the night was at Hog's Breath, where we had key lime shooters and listened to some live music. Today is our last day in Key West and our last pit stop for the video. We're off to Rams, Rams Head, Southernmost, something like that. This is where they have the Bloody Mary bar and a pretty good breakfast. So we would have went to Blue Heaven, but it's closed with construction. So we're trying somewhere new. It actually turned out to be a blessing that Blue Heaven was closed due to construction because this place is pretty good. It has a Bloody Mary bar, a Bloody Mary cocktail with a bunch of shrimp, crab meat, and seafood, and then they also have a Michelada, which is like a beer tomato juice with Old Bay sauce. Good. Michelada. Yeah, you like it? beer with some, um, I don't know. Bloody Mary. Bloody Mary mix in with Old Bay on the rim, which is cool. That's a breakfast drink for sure. Um, Full oh, meal drink. Yeah. All right, we just got back to the hotel after our specialty drink adventure. I'd say we did all right. We survived. Ramstead was pretty good. Comparable Ram breakfast to Blue Heaven. Ramstead was really good. The breakfast was amazing, I thought. I apologize if this video wasn't the best cinematic vlog that we have done in a while, but uh, we just wanted to share our experience and try and hit every specialty drink at almost... <laughs> every bar as many bars as we could yeah and stay within alive re within reason so if you're new here please consider subscribing and we'll see you in the next one thanks for watching guys thanks for watching see you next time